all right guys so welcome back to rhino joe outdoors and in today's little episode i'm going to do some trout fishing for some of these stock trout again i love doing this because really i love eating them um, but i got out here this morning and the last time i was out here there was a ton of people out here but this morning there's nobody really out here so i'm going to try to get out here and try to catch some trout make our way down here all right so i brought two rods today because I wanted to be able to switch back and forth between two different techniques and make it a little bit easier to hopefully limit out pretty quickly. Now, one thing to note guys is that if you're going out, at least in Kentucky and doing this, one, you wanna make sure you have your fishing license. Um, I, the last time that I was out at another place, um, they had just stocked and I, <laughs> while I was there within 30 minutes I got checked for my license which is perfectly fine because we all should be doing that but um and you also want to make sure that you have like the trout stamp if you're in Kentucky if you're in another state you might want to just check on your regulations where you're at another thing is guys if you're coming out here like pick up your freaking trash um, I'm gonna I brought a bag with me so I'm gonna bag up a bunch of this before I leave today and uh, put it in the garbage all right so the two baits that I'm gonna be setting up today is one I already have this set up from the last time I was out here and that's this little spoon here I like these little spoons sometimes I don't know if it makes a difference or not but sometimes having a little feather on there is kind of cool I feel like it might attract more strikes but then the other one is I've just got some, uh, I got some different kinds of power bait here. I got the, the trout nibbles. I've got these little guys, but the easiest thing to do with these little stock trout is to get a really small treble hook and use that instead of a different type of hook. So for today's, I'm gonna kind of use like a drop shot kind of method. Um, I'm gonna put the weight on the very bottom. I'm gonna tie the treble up about two feet and then you just let that sink to the bottom and then that those uh, trout baits will actually make it float up off the bottom with this small little treble so that's what I'm going to set up right now let's get these put on here it's kind of on the little hook there it is starting to drizzle a little bit so maybe that's what's keeping people from coming out today is the possibility of rain get on some fish all right so I got that set up right there I can kind of keep an eye on that line and while that's sitting there I'm going to fish my little spoon here Let's see what we can drum up. One hour later. There we go. About freaking time. First one on the old spoon or doodle. <laughs> as you can see i did switch out to a gold cast master spoon and that's one of my favorites i feel like the cast master spoons just have a better action it's just okay. a better quality bait but all of these lures are going to be linked in the description below little one I need to catch one of these bigger ones I think they're catching on the live bait or something I'm having to work for them today man the other day it was much easier to catch these fish um, 
<clears throat> they're just much less active today well overall guys i had a good time out here today it wasn't nearly as active as i hoped it would be um come out of here with two fish um the other day i was out here i caught a limit but you know what that's the way it goes sometimes but i got to get out of here i've got some things i've got to do but i did my part to go out and pick up trash and clean up after all these neanderthals that decide to come out here and just think that somebody else is going to clean up after them so i just you know guys if you come out to a place like this uh, bring a kroger bag or something with you and help clean up because these people like we are lucky to have oh, areas you. like this that we can come and fish and For you know sure. have access to to enjoy with our families and people trashing it just makes it worse for everybody else so obviously you want to be careful um picking up garbage but just uh do your part and as always guys don't forget get outside do something awesome and take somebody with you get a chance and i'll see you in the next one please consider checking out one of these other videos where i do a super duper tasty treat with these tasty trouts and uh cook them up real nice go check it out